I, uh, today will be the last teaching on, on resting, returning and resting in God. Praise God. Mark chapter 6, six from verse 30. The apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour and told him all they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his, did, and his disciples didn't even have time to eat. So they left by the boat for a quiet place where they could be alone. But many people recognized them and saw them leaving. And people from many towns ran ahead along the shore and got there ahead of them. Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped from the boat and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Late in the afternoon, his disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so that they can go to the nearby farms and villages and buy something to eat. But Jesus said, you feed them. With what they asked, we'd have to work for months to earn enough money to buy food for all these people. How much bread do you have? He asked, go and find out. They came back and reported, we have five loaves of bread and two fish. Then Jesus told the disciples to have the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of 50 or 100. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up, to, up toward heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread to the disciples so they could distribute it to the people. He also divided the fish for everyone to share. They all ate as much as they wanted. And afterward, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftover bread with fish. A total of 5,000 men and their families were fed from those loaves. 45. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida while he sent the people home. After telling everyone goodbye, he went up into the hills to himself to pray, by himself to pray. Praise God. This is Jesus. After, after they had worked, Jesus tells them, let's go and do what? And rest. Let's go and rest. Because wameshugulika, wameshugulika, ata awana nafasi ya kupumzika. Awana awaku anata nafasi ya kukula. And there's one thing that uh, I learned as I was looking at the life of Jesus. Every time I likuwa nashugulika. And you, you can imagine he was not sinning. He was not sinning. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Alikuwa naponya, alikuwa nafufua, alikuwa nafundisha. That was the only, as in that was his work. He was not sinning, he was, he was not walking in wickedness, he was not struggling. The, the demons knew him. Apart from Isom Mitego, Mitego, the Pharisees were laying right and left. But the Bible tells us that it was his way. When you read Luke chapter 5 verse 17 and 22 verse 39, it tells us that Alikuwa Mezoya, he often went to the hills by himself to pray. Every time, Alikuwa Kimaliza Shugli, he always went back to have fellowship with the Father. Praise God. Every time, after Amesha Shugulika, he went. And I imagine, because Kwa Kuponya, you know, Sometimes we do, as we work here, it is not us that work, it is God who works. It is not us that heal the people as we lay our hands on them. It is God who works. But the, the vessel, the vessel that is being used, inafanya nini? Ina, ina, inatumika, inachoka, inakuwa na ulegevu, inakuwa na maumivu, sindio? And, and there is need for replenishing. There is need for restoration. And I was imagining, like, remembering the story of the woman who was bleeding for 12 years. Ali Guza to the hem. And Jesus said, power came out of me. I, I have felt power come out of me. Nikaelewa kwamba, every time, even as ministers, even as children of God, even as we serve God, every time, there is something that comes out of us that goes into people. And as it goes into people, it is necessary for us to always be replenished by the Lord. Buwana sifiwe. Inabide kila wakati, you take your time, you go back to God. You go to rest. And in the resting, 
nikutiwa nguvu tena in the resting is a time for new revelation in the resting it is a time for new empowerment for the next assignment praise god and this was the nature of jesus christ if jesus christ the one we emulate we want to live our lives like him will always remember to go to the father as the disciples walikuwa wanapiga story i was imagining Akuna, yani they didn't see like anything happened see how jaumia they have not spent they have not done anything they just went people were healed and they and they were teaching and they were coming walikuwa na story wanamwambia what they have done how they have taught how people have responded and Jesus said mm -mm, let's go and do what and rest but in that resting apart from the food they were going to eat kwa sababu walikuwa hawajakula it was also a time for them to teach them every time he will go with them was the time he will teach them every time he will go with them was a time for a parable so that they get a deeper understanding it was a time for equipping praise god bwana sifiwe and I, I, and and it is necessary kwamba kwa hii safari yetu kama waumini we need to go back to god every time Tumezoea kuomba asubuhi pekee as we start our day but at the end of the day it is also necessary that we go back to God we are going to rest we are going for a new empowerment we are, we are giving him a report of what has happened during the day praise god he is your father you know I, i always i always i always see the way our kids wakikuja jioni venye tunakwanga busy ni venye tunakoanga busy but every time when you pick your child from school mami leo mami leo kulikuwa na nini nani anakupatia majina you know all their classmates but you've never set your eyes on them eh they tell you all the names of their friends you have never seen them but they have told you leo tulikuwa tunacheza siji nani akanisukuma siji tukienda kukula nani alienda kasavu mara mbili siji tukifanya nini 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 tukienda kucheza pale siji tuka toilet zilikuwa chafu and they are giving you a report of how their day has been and hapo katikati what we are supposed to do ni kutega masikio vile wanakueleza i know you, you, you can imagine I know I, I used to know the friends of my kids who bully them nilikuwa ninawajua based on ile story ninapewa jioni nilikuwa ninajua leo ameniambia nani alimsukuma kesho tena the same same person alimsukuma next week tena the same person sijui walikuwa kwa swing akamwekea mguu akaanguka I know I will know who is bullying my child because of the way they are telling that tell him hata mwalimu utajua mwalimu ni yupi anasumbua mtoto wako na ni mwalimu ni yupi ni wabaraka kwa maisha ya mtoto wako bwana asifiwe praise god i will know what they love by their stories si ati mtu amekuambia by their stories i know who among my children who is the footballer i know i know among my children who is the artist i know I know among my children who can music festival ako confident anaweza simama anaweza imba I know because of the, the, the what they tell me what they enjoy to do how they relate with people I even know wrong characters by their stories praise god and after i have learned it is my duty to give them direction again so ananiambia nani alinisukuma na mimi nikamweka singoto sasa mfai kupigana unafaa ku report eh hapana si amenisukuma hata mimi nafaa kumsku kumsukuma nani anaibanga pencil so you teach them kama wanaiba pencil stealing is sin wewe haufai kuiba if you know that somebody has stolen you are supposed to report and if they bully you you again are supposed to report and you must also make me aware praise god so you already know who to disconnect who to connect to which gift to strengthen which gift to silence kama hiyo ya boxing unajua hii lazima ni nyamazishe ukisikia kesho mwalimu amekuambia mtoto wako alipiga mwingine makofi already alishakwambia it does not shock you it does not shock you because at least ulisikia akisema yeye alisukumwa na yeye akapiga akapigana so when the teacher is telling you you now know it is out of hand 
But what is their sense of coming back to you as a parent? They're telling you about their life. They're telling you about their day. And you as a parent, you're supposed to build them by what they have told you. The things that are wrong, you remove. Ata matusi. See, me tell, I always know. Kwanza nikisikia matusi, kuna matusi ni, yani, unajua tu, he, imetoka mahali. But you know, as they give you feedback, depending on how you respond to them, you already know, hapa mimi ndio ninaenda kuongea, hii matusi ikome. Ama hapa, you'll tell my children, don't go there. Praise God. So when, when you're coming back to God, you are bringing everything back to him. And in that everything you're bringing to him, anakupatia mwaleke umpia. Anakufungua macho tena. Mahali umeumia, anakushugulikia. Praise God. Where you have received any injury, he works on you. What you didn't know. Because ata, they will tell you, yes, sabu mimi sikuelewa. Mwalimu walifundisha, lakini sikufanya nini? Sikuelewa. Like, initially, I remember when CBC started, many teachers ha had a challenge. I think even majority still have a challenge with home science. Si mnajua, walimu wangina wa CBC, especially generation yenye inafuata yetu kidogo, the young ones, many of them have a challenge with home science because wakati wao walikuwa, home science was not there in primary school. So the basic things, the back stitch, the hem stitch, the loop, Awa kufanya. Asa mtoto amepewa assignment ya umsense. Mwalimu amemwambia with the help of the parents. Umza mwalimu walikuwanyesha nini? Mwalimu nyewe haku anajua. So I knew. How would they ningejua aje walikuwa na challenge? Because of the constant feedback. Homo ke umsense. Until they were even starting to not like that home science. Praise God. Bona sifiwe. And you, and you work on it. Iyo ya sabu ya nyalikuambia siku elewa. Kama unajua unashugulikia. Kama haujui unatafta msaada. But that is the sense of returning back to God. Every single time. And Jesus was very good at that. Alikuwa narudi kwa baba yake kila wakati. Alikuwa narudi kwa baba yake kila wakati. And every time he will go back there. He will become empowered. Number one. He will become empowered. Every time. And the best example is the one I gave. Hapo hata karibu na crucifixion. Alikuwa amechoka mpaka anasema, it is the end. Yani, my body cannot take it. If it was my wish, tungeache hii safari hapa. But after that we see he becomes empowered once again. God gives him strength. Whenever he will go, he will come back. He will teach his disciples. He will receive new power. He will move every time. And that is what is required of us every day. And the best place to go, the best, the best time to go to the Father is every time. Praise God. Every time. Yes, walikuwa napenda kuenda yu jioni. Kwa sababu ndiyo watu wange, at least watu wange mpea na fasi kila mtu wange rudi kwao. Kila mtu wange rudi kwao, so ange baki peke yake, then he will leave his disciples and do us and go. But you are able to do that every single time. Uko kazini. There is something that is disturbing you. Return to God. There's a project that is not working. Return to God. Umeanza siku unasikia ni kama siku imekuwa na nuksi. Return to God. Praise God. And you must be confident in going to God. Um, ile hauna, hauna barrier. I, 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 always, I always laugh. You know there are times when things will be difficult. And I will just pray, I will just go to the toilet. At least ndi unayaza pata amani. And I will just sit there. And I will just tell God, aki, nisaidie. Hapa maali nimefika, nimefika muishu. At least that is the only place even your boss can allow you to go peacefully. Sindio? Sindio? So imagine we are having, we are having a meeting and we are, we are, we are disagreeing. Hakuone ukoko kwa, kita, kwa kiwanja uko ramakata deke sene. Utarudi kama umepoa barua. So when you go and you're inside there and you've closed the door, written stuff only. Wanajua tu hapa ni kama hii ni umetoka katikati ya mkutano ni kama tumbo inakupeleka vibaya. Lakini zi ya tumbo. You are returning to get answers. You are returning to get 
empowerment. You are returning to get wisdom. You are returning to get a new direction. Praise God. And that is a call for each one of us. Kwamba, hata kama tumeshuka, say easy. The Lord has released this fire to work on our things. Inatuitaji kila wakati we go back to him. And mi wanasema, if Jesus Christ will rest, why can't I rest? He was God the son, but he will take time again to rest. He will take time again to go to the father. Why can't I rest? Why can't I go back to the father? Why can't I just let things be and go back to him? Praise God. Bona sifewe. Now, it requires a very high sense of faith to trust as you go back to the Lord. And as you come out of that rest, you receive a new direction. You receive a new empowerment. You receive great wisdom. Praise God. Bona sifewe. Hallelujah. So ninamalizia hapo our word for resting. Let's follow the example of Christ. Let's follow the example of Christ. He was God, but he did not hakuwa ameshikilia uungu wake. Hakushikilia kwamba mimi ni Mungu, why should I pray? Why should I keep going back to the Father? I know everything. This e crucifixion nilijua hata kabla hii dunia ijajengwa kwamba nilikuwa ninakuja kufa. No. He did not take that. He will still do everything God wanted him to do. He will still pray. He will still return to the Father. Unajua ukishapewa kila kitu the way nilishambwa kila kitu. Why should I keep on going back to consult? No. He will still go back. Praise God. You do not know anything. You do not know anything. You do not know anything. And and I was laughing because nilikuwa najiambia, you know sometimes when God has told you something and it has started manifesting, you imagine umefika. Haujafika, umeanza. Haujafika, kwanza sasa hiyo ndio umeanza. As we are walking this journey with uh, these families that are trusting God for a child, there's one thing that keeps on happening. Nilikuwa naona each one of them, some of them who are looking even for, maybe they are looking for sons. They already have five girls. Now they are looking, now they are pregnant. My phone does not rest. Oh, mami mgongo inanyuma. Oh, mami sijui kinasikia kizunguzungu. Oh, mami sina nguvu. And I was asking, kwa nizo siku zingine mkibeba mkwa mna, amukuwa mna jua kuna kuchoka? Eh? Hanguwa mna jua kuna kuchoka? <laughs> And I will laugh. I just realized kuamba sayo sasa because this is a miracle. Now that is when the journey has started. It will be different from that. Because as we are fighting, the devil is also fighting. So we have to keep on going back to, to the Lord. And I will tell you, eh, nilikuwa nasikia mgongo. Lakini mgongo ni tofauti. Mza si mgongo ni ile ile ukonai. Ati apana, hii mgongo ni tofauti. And I had to learn, wajia nilikuwa na shanga. Kie kubati. Kipawano, kie kubati, kipawano. Hatiani natapika. Kwani ukiwa mjamzito si unafaa kuwa unatapika? Eh? Hati? Hey, okay, si lazima kwa watu wote kuna wengine hawatapiki. Lakini, yani kwa zile signs and symptoms. Mkiniona nimetapika hivi mara mbili, mnaanza kusema, "Ye, mami tena, mami tena." Hata kama ni tumbo imeniharibikia. So I was imagining that is a normal thing that should be happening to anyone. They should not be reporting. But they, they could tell me, hii kutapika ni tofauti. Hii kutapika ni tofauti. Walikuwa nambi ukweli, hii kutapika ni tofauti. So I had to go back to God and ask, wameniambia ti hii kutapika ni tofauti. Atha mimi says, ni meshangati hii kutapika ni tofauti. What is the different types of matapiko? Ile sisi tunajua ya hospitali, kuna different, the way hiyo kutapika yako inakuwa, inasignify vitu tofauti. Lakini hii ya pregnancy kutapika ni kutapi? No. You, it is a new thing. We are fighting kingdoms, we are fighting principalities, they are fighting back. So you kutapika, ukweli siya kawaida. Alikuwa nambia, do you know they can vomit to death? Eh, nikasikia death tena. Nika, ndiyo nikajua kweli yu kutapika, nitofauti. Nikajua kumba yu kutapika, nitofauti. And I had to go back, because me I thought, now you are pregnant, we are done. 
we are waiting for you to bring that child we had to go back and ask ndio ananiambia wewe unajua kwamba anaweza tapika mpaka akufe and there are some who never vomited previously sasa wanatapika eh and they will cry and they will tell them utabeba wanabeba 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 mpaka ukitembea watu wanasema hii utatoa watano round ni 5 round ni 5 god is passing a statement that it happened and the devil must see praise god and it took those complaints for me to know that i had to go back and really understand what is god doing praise god so usi imagine at sasa umeanza project unajua no constantly go back to the lord constantly seek direction umeanza kujenga then suddenly imekuwa and you are like pastor si alisema tutajenga eh alisema utajenga na si ulianza eh mbona imekuwa ma because you do not know anything you do not know everything you do not know everything so you keep going back to the source you keep going back to the source you keep going back to the source and even that last minute yes alikuwa ndio ilikuwa inaenda kufika mwisho but then now he realized how heavy the assignment was and he went back to the father akamwambia yenyewe mahali imefika sitaweza but let your will be done and god gave him the grace god gave him the power god gave him the strength to pull through mpaka mwisho praise god so kila kitu we must go back to him jifunze jifunze and if you trust in the lord it becomes very easy use small things to believe in god 